Hello everyone, today I will show a cool do-it-yourself that can be made from a non-working computer power supply. First, it needs to be disassembled. We unscrew the board, then cut the wires from the connector and put it aside as we no longer need it. We remove the fan in the same way but later we will reattach it on the other side. This is how it needs to be screwed on, in this way it will draw air from the outside. But that's a bit later. But now on the body you need to make a mark and drill 4 holes with a 6 drill bit. That's it! At this stage, you can screw the fan back on. This device will operate from a 22 volt network. And to power the fan, you need to assemble a small circuit that you see on the screen. By the way, all the parts can be taken from the board of this power supply unit. This is how my board turned out. To prevent anything from shorting out, you need to put a small piece of plastic under the board and then screw it to the case. And now you can connect the fan to the board. Next, you need to take a 6 inch piece of wire, insert it into the hole you made earlier and screw the nut on from the back and then secure all of this. We perform such actions with all the holes. The continuation follows, at the same distance, down from the body. From the text light I cut out such details, which need to be put on the pins and fix them with nuts. In the same way you need to secure the textilite plates on top of the pin, there will be 4 of them. So this is the construction we got, for now let's put it aside. Now you need to take 2 meters of self-regulating heating cable, 
Remove the insulation from one end of the cable. Then you need to cut the inner sheath and strip one wire. Next, ensure everything is properly insulated using a heat shrink tube. I showed you how to terminate the heating cable. Next, wind this cable onto asbestos sheets as shown on the screen. That's how everything turned out so precisely. Now we remove the insulation from the second end of the cable and also remove the insulation from the ground. To the wires of the heating cable you need to connect a regular one. This is done by crimping with the help of special dice. After connecting, insulate everything thoroughly. And now the regular wire can be soldered to the plug-in button. So this is the assembly we got. Everything is done reliably, well insulated and nothing will short anywhere. By the way, the originally twisted wire nuts here serve as blades. That's it, at this stage you can screw on the lid. Well that's it, the do it yourself is complete. As many understood, this turned out to be a small heater for heating large rooms. It's of course weak, but for a small chicken coop or a brooder it's just what you need. Many use a regular incandescent lamp for heating a chicken coop, but it's not entirely safe. With this heater everything is simpler and more economical. Its power is 40 watts per hour. No rotation regulator is needed as the self-regulating cable maintains a constant temperature within 75 degrees. Such a cable costs pennies and unlike a lamp it has a service life of 15 years. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up, leave comments, share with friends, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell. Thank you all for watching and goodbye to everyone.